A nation's greatest resources is people, and a people's greatest resources is children. If we all work for a better America, the whole gets the benefit. And if we work for our individual self-aggrandizement, we remain in one. And when you remain in one, you always somebody trying to replace you. The only one that can change that is you. You know, the only one that can change that is you people in this room, along with other young people that will be able to teach and from the grade school on. We know Don as a, as a business man. We know him as a promoter extraordinaire. More than that, some of us know Don as a humanitarian, who has helped people. How y'all doing? Come on, man, give me this Yeah, all right. Hey, bro, man. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. God bless you, my man. Because I've come this far by faith, um, trusting in his holy word, leaning on the Lord, and he's never failed me yet. But I want to greet you as a fellow inmate, not as a guy that's coming here to talk down to you, telling you if you had did this, that, or the other, you wouldn't be in here. You know what I mean? I'm talking about a guy who's been in here, and who got out of here, and didn't want to come back in here, unless I'm coming like I'm coming now, where I can go out of here. He's a, a master showman, but there are times when he is not showing off about his generosity. He's doing it from the heart. Very impressive to see, and inspiring as well. I want this money to go to Principal Brown here on 18th. We can do a lot of things with this money. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. King. He has a Title I program in which he gives a little lunchbox that has uh, the Constitution written in kids' language with questions and answers in it, pencils, papers, rulers, everything it would take to help them make it. If they take that yes you can attitude, they can take the possible out of the impossible. They can snatch victory out of the jaws of defeat, and life will be theirs. And you must educate because that's the one thing they can't take from you when you put it up there. The children are tomorrow's leaders. And you must be able to save the children and try to guide and direct them and their energy into a more productive and constructive direction. All of them can't be boxers. You can't all be champions, but they all will learn the rigors of discipline. I'm here because it's important for America and for working for a better future for America means all Americans, black and white alike, working together for the betterment of this country. And I think that this march is a symbol of stopping the violence and to bring kids uh, together in all walks of life. And it's also a symbol that says those who are the left out should be included. I'm just so pleased and proud to be a part of this fire department, to be a part of this community. And to be able to, to continue to work for the betterment of our country in what we're trying to do. Here are the keys to Ladder 30. One of the things that I love about Don King is that he recognizes the contribution of women. When we stand up behind a great contributor, humanitarian, who's done so much for children and for education, and I have to say, who's a great supporter of the National Council of Negro Women and of all the efforts that we've made, when we do that, we let the world know that we know when fairness is fairness and when it's unfair. Just beneath all of this huff and puff and, and blow and electronic hair is a big heart. A man who really does care. And Don, you have done a lot for boxing, a lot for this industry, more than a lot of people you don't even know. And this right is the moment that I can just express my thanks to you, the people I've known you to help, when there were no lights, just the light of your own character. Let's give Don King an expression of our love and appreciation.